Well, so far in this series, we've showed you a program for beginners, a program for intermediate, and the next progression from that is a program for advanced. In today's program, it gets more advanced again, where we split the body parts up into smaller groups. Today, I'm going to read out the exercises in the program for you, and Ange Gulati, seven-time Australian champion, world bench press record holder 16 times, is going to take you through the exercises. We're going to watch him do them and put the program up on the screen so you can see what to do when you get to this advanced level. For our chest routine, we're going to do four exercises. We start off with a barbell incline press to work on the upper chest. Then we go to a flat dumbbell press, a dumbbell fly, and a pec deck. So for chest today, we're going to do incline press, four sets of eight, dumbbell press flat on a bench, four sets of eight, dumbbell flies, four sets of 10, and pec deck, four sets of 12. Now we go into back. For back, we've got four exercises once again, just like we did with chest. First is a lat pull down to your chest, four sets of 10. Followed by a hammer pull down or a panada pull down, some sort of plate loaded pull down, which is a similar movement to your cable one, but a point of difference, four sets of 10 once again. Then we go to a seated row, as in a cable row, long row, or whatever you want to call it, sitting down, pulling the weight into your waist, down nice and low, followed by a hammer strength single arm row. If you don't have one of those in your gym, you can substitute that with a dumbbell row, which we've showed you many times before. With your back workout, we're gonna do four sets of 10 with everything. The reason we do four exercises per body part with this advanced workout is to hit your muscle from every angle possible. So a cable pull down is slightly different than a hammer or a plate loaded pull down. A seated row is way different than a dumbbell row or a hammer row. So you've got to hit your muscle from all these different angles and develop all the fibers in the muscle from all the different angles. And that's why we start adding exercises and adding quantity rather than just working on quality. By now you know how to train. You've got to put your mind in your muscle. You've still got to slow down with all of your exercises, make sure you do them right, but you need variety. So that was day one, chest and back. Four exercises for each body part, good form all the way, practice, get it right, and throw some variety in. Now we go to day two, shoulders and triceps. Shoulders and triceps go really well together because you start off with a shoulder press and end up with a tricep press. So your triceps are pretty much working the whole time. Our first exercise is a barbell shoulder press. It can be substituted with a hammer press or even a dumbbell press or even a Smith machine press. Any, of the one, any, any one of the above will work. Four sets of 10 for that, that's a warm up for your shoulders. From there we go to a dumbbell side raise. Now we've shown you this heaps of times on Muscle TV. Ange will show you today how to do it but it's got to be good form. You're going to have your back straight, your chin up, your chest out, and make sure the dumbbells go out to the side, four sets of 10 once again. And then we go to a rear dumbbell raise, which we've showed you plenty of times before. That's where you bend over with a flat back and take your dumbbells out nice and wide, four sets of 10 once again. Then we work on your traps. We do traps with shoulders rather than back, because by the time you've done rear delts, your traps are getting engaged and doing a fair bit of the work. So we go to our high pull, a muscle TV favorite. Hands out wide, up under your chest, Nice and quick with that movement, really fire the traps up. Four sets of 10 once again, and that's your shoulders done. From there, you go to triceps. Now with triceps, we're gonna suggest you do a tricep push down to warm your triceps up, get them flexing. Once again, you remember, one second at the top, two seconds at the bottom. One second at the top, two seconds at the bottom. From there, we go to a lying dumbbell press. I particularly like the lying dumbbell press, which we've showed you before, because you get a longer range of motion, more flexion in the tricep, and it travels further. Very, very strict exercise to do. And then we go to our final exercise, which is a close grip bench press. Now, some of you haven't tried this one before. It's just a narrow grip bench press, closer than shoulder width, where you lock out at the top. So when you get to the top of the movement, make sure you stop, lock out at the top. Great tricep exercise, and it'll actually build your strength up for your shoulder presses and your bench presses later on. So that's shoulders and triceps, straight four sets of 10 with all of them. Do them together and they'll work really well. Day three of this workout is legs and biceps. Now this is a pretty big day, but biceps is a pretty small body part. So we'll put our big leg body part with our small bicep body part. So for the leg part of this routine, we start off with leg extension. Three sets of 10, we do this to warm your knees up. You don't need to go heavy. We've talked about it before when we've shown you how to do leg extensions. It's just a warm up for your knees to get ready to squat. So just a simple three sets of 10, just with one or two or three plates. Don't go heavy. You don't need to put that strain on your knees at this stage. From there we go to a barbell squat, a muscle TV favorite. Squat four sets of eight reps. So we'll keep the reps a little bit lower with your squat. Do a warm up set, which doesn't count with just a barbell. Then do four working sets of eight reps. From there we go to a leg press. 
and I'm going to give you an alternative, a leg press or a hack squat, and you do four sets of 10. So leg extensions to warm up your knees, your squats, because we love squats, then we go into your hamstrings. We do three sets of 10 with a lying leg curl, and then three sets of 10 with a seated leg curl. Once again, hitting the muscle from a slightly different angle. They both contract your hamstrings, you've still got to squeeze at the flexion part of the movement, so when you do your leg curl, come up all the way, hold it one, two, go back to the other end, hold it for one, then we go to calves. Now with calves, we're going to up the reps a little bit and do four sets of 15 with either a standing or a seated calf. Choose either one, do both if you like, but really at this stage of your program, one will be enough. But four sets of 15, really get those fibres going, get the reps up high and that'll really get your calves to grow. A lot of people, particularly taller people, have trouble stimulating their calves, they just don't do enough reps. Then we go on to biceps. What a great way to finish, everyone loves to do curls. Start out with barbell curl, four sets of 10. Once again, pause at the top, pause at the bottom, like we've showed you a hundred times, barbell curl first, followed by an alternate dumbbell curl, that's one arm at a time with your biceps, do your alternate dumbbell curl, four sets of 10, and then go to a preacher curl machine. It can be one you do with a barbell, it can be a pin loaded one, it can be a fancy hammer one or a life fitness one or whatever your gym's got, a panada one, what, whatever you have is fine because it gives you variety. So with biceps, barbell curl, dumbbell curl and finish with a preacher curl of some type. Four sets of 10 for each one. Biceps is a fairly small body part and you should be right to do that after your legs. But if you're so fried from legs, then do your biceps with your shoulders and tries and it'll work out just fine. So there you have it folks, your advanced routine. You've earned it. This is where training really starts to be fun because you can start to think for yourself. You know a whole lot of different exercises. I've given you some areas you can substitute and change things around. And at this stage, your body needs to be shocked. You can't just do the same thing every day. So mix it up, change your exercise around a little bit, but stick to the body parts on the days that we've said, stick to the amount of exercise that we've said, throw a little bit of variety in and you re will reap the rewards of all the strict training you've learned, putting your mind in the muscle. So today's workout, folks, you've earned it, enjoy it. To me, this is when training becomes a whole lot of fun. You've done real well to get to this stage. Thanks for listening and until next week, see you in the gym. Down.